is Mary coming at you from Kind Country Living. Welcome back to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Today we're going to do a easy one pot chicken pot pie pasta. So we're going to do it all in one pot. And so here is how it goes. Um, in my pot already, I have about a half a cup of onions sauteed. I have one cup of celery and I have one cup of carrots because I want to use um, all the stuff that was fresh. So I just kind of cut it up um, and put it in my pot and I sauteed it with about a half of a half a stick of butter. So I did that. And so now we're going to put this together. It's real, real simple um, to do. I like pot pie, but I don't like rolling out all that dough. So we're going to do this one pot um, pot pie pasta. So um, here we go. And so the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and put in my chicken broth. It's a 32 ounce container of chicken broth. You can use whatever um, brand that you would like to use. I'm using the Walmart brand. And so you just pour in your um, chicken broth. And if you get a bag of vegetables, the mixed vegetables, you don't have to saute them. You can just go ahead and pour that in. But since I was using fresh vegetables, I had to get them a little soft because it only takes about five to six minutes for this to cook. So that would not have been enough time to get those vegetables tender. So that's the reason I did that. And then I have um, two cups of chicken. And the chicken I'm using is a rotisserie chicken from my local um, supermarket. Um, I got this rotisserie chicken because, you know, it's seasoned real well. So you don't have to season your chicken. So then I'm just going to put my two cups of chicken um, in here. Like I said, this is all a one pot um, dish. And now if you want to... You can um, use these. Let me stop because I'm getting too fast. Get to, get ahead of myself. These are green beans, and I'm gonna use these. These frozen green beans. So I'm gonna use this, and this is a 16 ounce bag of green beans. But what I was gonna tell you was about the chicken. Um, you also could use canned chicken. Um, I lost the train of thought there, but um, that's what I was going to tell you. You use canned chicken, or if you got chicken breast and you're trying to get rid of chicken breast in your house, you can use chicken breast because that's what I probably would have done. But like I said, I just want to go ahead and put this together quick, so I just picked up a rotisserie chicken. And even if you probably had a fried chicken breast that you want to get rid of, um, you had it in your refrigerator and just want to get rid of, you can probably use just a chicken breast. And then the next thing um, you're going to do, this is about four cups of the white egg noodles. And you're just going to pour in the white egg noodles. And I can tell you this, don't try to cook these before. Because I did and I made a mess. I had to throw them out. So you just add these to your, um, to the pot and mix it. And you're going to cook it for about eight minutes. And I want a little bit more juice in mine. So I'm going to use about a half a cup more of uh, like um, half and half. So we're going to pour that in there. That's a half a cup of half and half. And then I still think I need... Um, I measure those noodles out, but it seems like I need just a little more liquid. So I'm going to add a half a cup of water to that. And you know when I do these recipes, I really don't cook by a recipe, but I just give you guys like a guideline to go by. Because usually I just kind of pour, shake, pour, shake until I make it the consistency I want. So now I would say I'm going to use about one tablespoon of um, pepper and salt, but I'm just going to shake it. But like I said, if you need to measure it out, it's probably about one tablespoon. And then I'm going to put a little basil in here. Shake just a little basil. That's just to give it a little taste. And if you wanted garlic in, you can put garlic in it. 
but I'm not gonna use any garlic today. And I'm gonna put this on my heat, medium heat for about eight, I say five, five to eight minutes. But like I said, that depends on your oven, not oven, your um, the way your stove cook. I'm gonna put another half a cup of um, water to this. Cause like I told you, I take it add stuff as I need it. And you're gonna cook this on high, so you need to watch it. So we're gonna mix this up really good. I'm gonna show y'all how quick you can cook this. And you can cook this when you get home, you can kind of put it together. If you have leftover um, chicken or you want to buy rotisserie chicken and come home and put it together, it's real, real nice and easy. Five minutes and probably 15 minutes and you got all this put together. So I would say after you do this, because I'm going to add just a little bit more water because I don't want mine to stick. But if you don't want to put water, you can add a probably another half a cup or half and half if you want to, or a little bit more. And it'll be in the description box below um, how much I added. So like I say, I'm the type of person I just kind of add when I cook, but I like to give y'all like um, measurements. So that's what I'm going to do, just give y'all some measurements. All righty. And, so, and basically, you just, I'm heating this up because everything is done, but except for your noodles, your green beans are already done. So you just kind of heating this up. So this is a one pot. So you don't have to mess up a whole bunch of pots. All right. And I hope you guys have been kind to yourself and kind to others. Um, last week, I thank y'all for um, stopping by and cooking with Mary again on today. I really do appreciate from the bottom of my heart all the love and kindness that you have shown Kind Country Living. And let us just continue to show people that we love them. Because like I told you before, kindness is just like snow. Everything it touches, it beautifies. So let us just continue to beautify the world. So let's check on this um, pasta before I burn it. It only takes about five minutes to, um, like I said, five minutes to cook. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to let this cook for about three more minutes. And so, like I said, then I'll be back with you in a second. But like I always say, with technology, it's going to seem like it's a second. But I'll be back with you guys in about three minutes because, you know, I don't want to waste your time. Time is like money. It's valuable. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm going to show you the finishing products of my one pot chicken pot pie pasta. All right. So we're going to zoom in here so you can see how it looks. Now, it cooked about eight minutes. I said about five, but it actually took about eight minutes um, to cook down. Um, and I let it sit for one to two minutes so the sauce can get thick. So the sauce is almost like that chicken Alfredo sauce, but um, doesn't quite taste the same. So I wanna show you guys how it look, plate it up, cause you know, I always like to plate my food for you guys. So, um, and you can serve this with a garden salad or you can just do it with garlic bread. You can do it with just a Hawaiian roll cause it has all of your veggies in it. Um, so, like I say, just give this a try. See how nice and it's real nice and steamy. So, it's a nice little hearty meal um, if you like pot pie and don't want to deal with all the rolling it out. So, here it is. All right. And so, um, I'm going to taste this for you. You know, it's real, real hot, but, you know, we always like to break bread together. So, I'm going to try to cool this off a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and say my grace and then um, try to taste this for you guys. 
Father God in heaven, thank you for the food that we're about to, but I'm about to receive for the lotion of my, for the nourishment of my body. Bless all of my viewers, Jesus. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. All right, so let's um, let's taste this and see how this tastes. And I didn't put a whole bunch of salt in it, so you know you'll just have to you know add to taste for yourself. Um, like the salt and black pepper. But like I said, I just give you a guideline to go by. So we're going to taste this. It's good and hot. Blow a little bit. Oh, this is good. And like I said, it tastes just like a pot pie. I'm eating with my mouth full. But yeah, y'all going to like this. But like I say, it took about eight minutes to cook. It sit here for one to two minutes to get thick. And that's um and that that was it. Like I say, it's a nice, easy, um, simple recipe. All right, guys. I would like to thank all of you for stopping by and checking on my channel. I'll see y'all guys next week. And you know what I always say: it doesn't cost a dime to be kind. And I love you. And 